We're already a vulnerable population. Imposing this amount of pressure on a community is going to magnify those vulnerabilities. We live along the Highway of Tears. Uh, we're already concerned about our women. Research shows that when a, a mine um, or a big development comes in, that it's usually women that are impacted. There's intergenerational trauma issues that are existing in the community. And, but having the mine there is really exacerbating all of these existing issues. Um, and it's making a lot of challenges more difficult. Pero si las mujeres hemos dado este salto hacia lo público y estamos afrontando el trabajo hacia afuera de la casa, los varones no han hecho el camino eh, recíproco o a la inversa. Las mujeres, además de estar en estos trabajos, siguen cuidando de esos cuerpos vulnerables que no se puede dejar de hacer. The women are the nurturers of the resources as well as the family. So with um, lack of food and water supply. So that's an, an additional burden for the indigenous uh, women. We have a um, way of helping one another, which we cannot practice anymore because we don't have lands. Over 90% of the women that we talked to did say that the mine had clearly created problems in the community. It's contributing to a lot of family breakdown uh, through both jealousy and uncomfort with spending long times apart. The scheduling also means that children are being unsupervised while their mother is at the mine. This is a community of over 3,000 people and they have one daycare that has about 25 spots. There are a lot of people who are still unemployed, um, but now the people who are employed are making a lot of money. So there's uh, been a very dramatic increase in inequality. Also, the higher incomes are enabling existing addictions. Um, so alcohol use is on the rise, um, bootlegging is on the rise, especially uh, with people bringing alcohol and drugs through the mine site. Workforce data shows that Inuit women are mostly in entry-level gender position such as cooks, cleaners. The benefits have been very unequal in the community. Um, average income has increased greatly for men, it's increased by um, over 50%, uh, but women haven't seen that increase. The unequal benefits is creating divisions in the community that weren't there before. In Canada, 3% of the mining workers are women. In Quebec, it's 1%. So, what kind of jobs are you saying the women that you're bringing to their communities? How will they say yes to mining when they don't see the benefit, and, but, but they see the problems? 